Welcome back to the Better Than Yesterday podcast and YouTube, where we focus on information, motivation, and realness. Five topics. Today is Tuesday, March the 17th, episode 148. All right, first topic. I want you to notice something. I want, I want everybody to understand this and notice something. Understand and notice that this virus, you know, this is this is a, this is kind of going to be a deep topic, but I used it or whatever to spin it. But notice how this virus shows no stereotism, no racism, no bigotry. Notice how it hit us all. I'm a thir- early 30s black male uh, from the hood. Uh, it's hit suburban America. It's hit hood America. It's hit everybody. You know what I'm saying? Every city's been shut down, all that. Now, I've been seeing these different things where um, I've seen black folks go, uh, well, it ain't hit that many black folks, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's because our population is lower. So if you're just doing the sure numbers, of course, it will hit other races higher. Um, notice what well, where did it originate? Let's just get into that. Um, most believe it originated out of China. So, I mean, just look, I just want you to see all that for what you see it for. And, and, and the thing about it is this virus has no... None of that racism, big. We all got to be together now. You know, man. If you see me on YouTube, you see me. I'm interlocking my hands. It's like we all have to be together now. We are all figuring this out. So once this is all over, let's remember that. Remember that you you're gonna depend on this person, that person, because we're all in this now. They shut everything down. Mostly everything I say. Still, people. A lot of people got certain jobs. I'm in the industry. Uh, I did lose my part time money. But I still got my main money. I am blessed to have that. Um, I figured it out. Um, I always had a plan on financially. Honestly, this is uh this is not one of those uh, I told you so things neither. It's just this is the reason why I jumped into uh Dave Ramsey because it's always like a plan. You always plan for the disaster. You always feeling like you're gonna be broke. So when things actually happen where you can't control, you control it. But anyway, just notice that. No racism, no bigotry, none of that with this. We all together. We all bleed the same. We all on the same earth. Topic two. I want everybody to that's you know on social media to pull back. Stop vilifying people who didn't initially take this serious. I can I can admit, I paid attention. I thought it was an overreaction in the beginning. I still think it's an overreaction. Don't get that twisted. But I thought it was, you know, people were doing too much initially about it. I didn't think it is a big deal. But I learned uh, it is killing people, not at a real high rate. Um, other things are killing people at a higher rate, to be honest with you. I can go through numbers all day. But just because I said two things could be true, I can still care and understand. You know, what got me, I, I, a personal story, was my uh, my grandmother. Uh she watches the news. She's retired. She's been retired since I was like 18. Um, she had worked 30 some years in a factory or whatever. So she busted her butt for years. So uh, she watches the news. And when I went to hug her the other day, she kind of pulled back. She didn't know I'm out in the world. Understandable. Like I know her, 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 um, she stressed about it more than I stress about it. So for me, let's be all mindful of the older generation. Let's be mindful of our grandparents all the elderly, you know, because when they, if they get it, it's, it's, a, it's a, it's, it could be more fatal. Now, there are a lot of other things that could be more fatal to people on so many levels, you know what I'm saying? So I want everybody to understand that at the end of the day, you know, so let's be mindful of that. But yeah, let's not vilify people. It's over. We made a mistake. We didn't take it as serious at first. Now we are mindful. That does not mean we have to panic. It just means we're mindful and we understand that this is a real situation and we got to figure out because when you, the thing is, most of the time we don't even care until it start affecting us. And a lot of people got affected. They lost money. They're losing money. You see what I'm saying? So let's just say, hey, forget it. Throw it out the window. We vil- don't vilify folks. Okay. We're all on the same page. Let's figure out the next solution. Let's all come up. Let's brainstorm and get things together. Topic three. Look, man, I, I, this is no disrespect. In fact, it's a, um, my word would be, this is a praise to all the teachers out there. All the teachers, all the legit teachers. First off, I treat teachers like I treat military personnel because I understand how hard their job is and they're doing things that I cannot do. Therefore, there will be no e-learning for me. 
I don't totally understand the way the methods are taught. I am not qualified for that. I am not based off of that. Now, um, I share custody with my son's mom, so she might do it or whatever. I will be teaching him other things. I'll be getting more into teaching him about his money, uh, how to you know do that. He already listens to me on money, but I'm teaching him about understanding money. I'll be teaching him probably a lot of history, especially black history, which is something I already planned on doing. Why not a better time now? But as far as those other things and things like that that I don't find as relevant, now again, I don't think, I know teachers have the curriculum to do. Some of them, a lot of them actually step outside and teach them more than that and teach them things they need down the line. But a lot of things I learned in school, I don't need now. Be honest with you. I love school. I love history. History is probably something that is very vital. Of course, the money things, the math and all that. But a lot of things I don't need. That's no just to school. Basic knowledge is needed for the, um, they feel is needed for the kids. Who am I to go against that? But what I'm saying is, I am not qualified to teach that knowledge and curriculum that they are. I know it's on ebooks with that. Every person, if I had to go through this as a student, I'm telling y'all right now online, I have never done an online class. Why? Because my learning style won't, it, it doesn't communicate. I have to have face-to-face -face lectures. I have to do things like that. And that's the only way that I can learn. So I'm hoping this thing with school doesn't last long. But in the meantime, I will be teaching him some things, a basic thing. Yes, there will be reading and things like that. But I am not qualified to do what teachers do. That's why I have so much respect for him, if you understand what I mean. Topic four. Look, I want y'all to slow down. All right, Dave Ramsey, and you're going to hear Dave Ramsey a lot because now it's affecting people's money, so we can bring it back out now. Dave Ramsey has this four walls rule. It's food, shelter, transportation, and utilities. Four walls, things that you need to survive out here. You got to eat. You got to travel to go to work. If you still can go to work, you need your shelter, and you need your utilities on. It's that simple. So don't stress about the other stuff. Put things on hold. Please understand that if this, if you're on hold and you're in this industry, this is going to be on hold in this industry. So please, please understand that. Do not, I repeat, do not go and charge the crap out of your debt, um, um, not your debt, but your credit cards. This is a time for Visa and MasterCard to make bank. Do not go get a title loan. Do not do any of that where you're going to Put yourself out there. These long cash places, man, they are about to come up. People are about to be short because they're missing money and they think that they need to do that outside of those four major things. And most people can't afford those four major things. You have to put the rest of that on the back burner. Now, this is coming from somebody who now is not affected by that now and everything's covered, even though I lost wages for two weeks at one part of my job. But what I'm saying is this is a good time to get yourself in a plan. This is good. To, this is the reason why I paid out some money debts at the end of last year. So I'm not here to judge. I've been there in worse situations. Trust me when I tell you, I remember getting up uh, back in like 2011, 2010 and couldn't. I don't know. I didn't know where to put my money at. Should I eat? Or should I put gas in my car? Like, it was that dire. It was that bad. I am nowhere near that. So I'm not upset. More or less, I've taken on the empath method of everybody else stressing. So that's what it gets to me. But me, myself, personally, I will be fine. And I'm a hustler. I will think of the next thing before I ever get back to that point. You know what I mean? All this do now is motivate me more. I already said no vacation, so I'm really not doing nothing now. But yes, be careful, man. No cash loans. No chill on your credit card. You have to pay. The economy will return. Do not forget that. Final topic. Uh, so we got extra time. A lot of us, you know, people are still working, but you can't do much. You can't go anywhere. So on the weekends, I don't know. Like the only way to set me down was for the government to sit me down. If you think about it, like I go nonstop. I work the weekends. I work six days a week. I was even offered to work seven once it starts to get warm because of what I do on the weekends. And it's, it's high demand. Uh, in my industry, this is a service industry, uh, bouncing bartender. Like if you notice, they took the government to shut us down. We, heard the, the pandemic hit and we made more money. People came out. People like, forget it. I'm not sitting in the house. So you had to sit us down. So this, this, this topic, I'm going to spend a little bit because I was going to talk about how um, how 
you should do some things in your life because you got the free time that you can do before, get some stuff done around the house. But now I kind of want to talk about this a little bit because it's coming to my mind. People kind of like look down on people in the service industry. And I noticed that. I noticed that on my social media. And it kind of it, it hit me a little bit because it's like I know people who got degrees, who went to college, who got all that stuff. And they had a choice between that career in the service industry, and they chose the service industry because they make like triple. So while people are just thinking, people are just like bar rats and just sitting around in a bar all day. Look, man, that's a part of some people's life. No different than some people going to the gym and all that. Now, I will say the gym's healthier. It's no different than people going to church four or five times a week. You know, I'm not dissing religion. I'm just saying they could still go to work every day and go to the gym, and they can still go hit the um, the bar up twice a week or something like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, let's not vilify people. Some people just like a drink at the work because they got a highly stressful job. I know because my job is highly mental. I'm in a better spot now, but years before, when I first started there, the first year or so, I, I was in a highly stressful place with that job. So stop with the vilifying and things like that. I keep using vilifying, but... Stop coming at people like that. But again, we can switch back to the original topic and just say, hey, you know, now you got some free time. Do that thing. Do that project at home. I know a couple of people have done that. That makes them feel better now. They're not as stressed because they're working all the time. So, you know, I just wanted to come back to it because I love it for a sec. Anyway, thanks for listening to the Better Than Yesterday podcast. I really appreciate um, the shares, the likes. I really appreciate you watching the YouTube, all of that. Uh, it is Tuesday. Uh, let me double check. Tuesday, March 17th, episode 148. We still can go out there and take them goals, just so you know.